Hello happy friends, I'm Jason and today I'm going to show you how I painted up this Age of Darkness era Imperial Fist right here on Level Up Hobbies. Let's get painting. And for this Imperial Fist we're going to start off by just giving it a nice even coat of black. You can use any primer of your choice for this. Um, I just used uh, Steinal Res black primer here. And just make sure you get nice even coverage. And this is just a nice base color to start building up your actual colors on. And now I'm actually going to start basing the model in brown. This is actually dark golden brown from Pro Acryl. Um, and I switched to a brown because if you paint yellow over black, uh, you have to really layer it up or else uh, the black shines through and it makes the yellow appear like a sickly green color. So you need to warm that black up uh, with either some browns or oranges. And now we start putting down that signature yellow for the Imperial Fists. Uh, for this, I'm just using uh, Averlin Sunset through my airbrush. And if you're not familiar with it, Averlin Sunset is a, it's a really nice yellow ochre color, uh, which I actually, I probably could have used this as the base instead of starting with a brown. Uh, but, you know, I just wanted to try out that brown and build the colors up from there. But this is Averlin Sunset, and we want to get a nice even coverage over it and kind of leave some of those browns and blacks like in the shadows. And now we're going to add a little bit of golden yellow by Pro Acryl uh, just to build up those highlights. Uh, this is kind of the equivalent of like a Citadel's uh, Flash Gets Yellow. Um, very bright. It really makes that, that yellow pop now. Um, I'm kind of leaving some shadows down on the lower portions of the model. I don't want to build it up too much. But just add this until you're happy with that color, and then we will move on. For this next step, I take some of Pro Acryl's mahogany um, and I thin it down to a, a wash consist consistency. And I just go through and I pin line the entire model. Um, as you can see, you know, this Mark III armor, it's got a lot of armor panels and separations in it. So you want to go through and just pin line all of that. Um, you can bypass this, like if you wanted to make like a, a really thin uh, brown oil wash, you know, the same, same type of thing, um, and then just, you know, wipe it off at the end. But um, I went through and I did just a pin line, you know, for all the armor panels, you know, all the rivets and everything, just to build up that separation and that definition between those uh, armor panels. Uh, and if you're not familiar with Mahogany from Pro Acryl, a GW equivalent would probably be like a Rhinox Hide, just a very deep, warm brown. And here we're picking out details for that secondary color, which is black. Um, as you can see, we're picking out the shoulder pauldron uh, trim. Uh, we're going to paint the gun and then a few details on that power pack. Uh, so. In this instance, it really doesn't matter which black you use, just whatever your preference is. Um, but you're wanting something that's going to contrast that bright, warm color of the armor. So in my case, I picked out black gray from Vallejo model color. And this is a very deep charcoal gray. Um, it's much darker than Corvus black, which is uh, basically, it's just a gray, uh, but this is closer to black, um, and it gives me a little bit of leeway with if I want to add a wash to those recesses, it can pick that up a little bit, um, but then also highlight up very well. And now we start picking out some details on the model to paint steel. Uh, for this, I'm using an Iron Warriors. Uh, it's a nice dark steel color. Um, 
it's darker than Lead Belcher. I think it's got good coverage. And the whole, ob the whole idea right here is just to pick out a few details to break up that color pattern a little bit more instead of just the yellow black. So he doesn't look so much like a, uh, you know, like a bumblebee. Uh, but yeah, so pick out some details and just uh, break up that color a little bit. And now I go through and I highlight up all of those black parts. Um, for this, I chose Administratum Gray. Uh, this is kind of a, it's a, a neutral medium gray. It's not too light and it's not too dark. Um, it's got a nice contrast with that black and it's neutral so it won't compete either way with the uh, yellow armor. And now for the yellow, I'm going to go through and add a uh, edge highlight to all of the armor panels. For this, I am using Dorn Yellow uh, Citadel's Edge Paint. Um, this is a very light, almost like, I don't want to say like banana yellow, but um, in the pot it doesn't look right. But um, once you put it over this yellow, it really gives a nice warm highlight um, that isn't just a white highlight. Um, so it really ties into that yellow very well. Uh, it's If you ever use these edge paints, um, I like using them uh, to do like highlights like this, but they are so thick and I, I feel like they dry fairly quickly on my brush. Um, I haven't really tried thinning them too much just because uh, I want to try to see how they work out of the pot and just how they were made. Uh, but uh, they have really good coverage and you don't have to build up that highlight layer um, very much. Like it, it really shines um, right out of the pot. All right, so now I paint the rim of the base in black and I spray the model with some matte varnish before applying some Geek Gaming Scenics Base Ready Mix. Uh, and this is the same mix that I've used throughout my uh, Age of Darkness uh, Legions. Um, this one is Arid Earth Mix. Um, yeah, just add some... Uh, I use tacky glue, which is just a, a thick PVA glue, and dip it in the mix, and you seal it, and you're done. And he's done. Um, I'm pretty happy with how he turned out. Uh, if I were to paint a unit of these guys, I would probably change uh, a couple of the steps. Um, the yellow, I like it, but it's a little too canary yellow, I think, for me. Um, I would like that more kind of golden uh, with like shades of honey. You know, I don't know. It's, it's kind of hard to describe. Uh, but just a warmer yellow, if you will. Uh, so for that, I mean, I could wash it with some really like warm, like orange browns and uh, just kind of build up those shades. Uh, or just choose a different yellow. Um, I know maybe like Ariel yellow uh, from GW. That's got a nice kind of a uh, warm golden like color to it. But after highlighting it and shading it, pin washing it, um, the model really, really comes together. Uh, I am happy with how it turned out. Uh, just, you know, like I said, a couple things that I might try differently next time. So hopefully you guys uh, saw some things that you liked and you know would like to use in your own armies. Um, again, like always, 
uh, the techniques that I use here or what's more important than the colors that I use. Um, you can do these with any color combinations and just build them up, uh, apply them, you know, how you will uh, for your different armies. Um, if you got any comments, uh, go ahead and leave them down below. Suggestions, questions, um, I try to answer everything. So thanks for joining me, guys, and I will see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for joining me today as I painted up this Imperial Fist for an Age of Darkness Legion. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a like down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you can be notified whenever I publish new material. Thanks again, and remember, build, paint, and play tabletop games. Later, guys.